Mm. Hey, it's Peter. What's up, friends? And welcome back to my channel. And today we are brought, we have brought Patrick back to my channel. This is so sad. <laughs> like we have brought um. <sighs> okay, Patrick. That was really, really unfortunate. Can you like hype me up? Hype my ass up. She. Because I just launched a map collection that launches April 19th in stores globally. Again, part two, two kits, four items per kit. You gonna let me speak? <laughs> you got anything out of your mouth. Close up, Peter. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Peter. What's up, friends? And welcome back to my channel. And today I have the Patrick Star on my YouTube channel once again. Oh my gosh, we're in the middle of filming a YouTube video for his channel, um, which should be out very, very soon. But um, here he is with his baked uh, face. With, Can you uh, guys tell because um, we order Postmates. In the middle of my filming, I was really hungry. So we, we normally usually order when I start and then we'll take a break. But I thought, Peter, I was like, Peter, why not? Let's just, do you want to film a mukbang? Mm -hmm. We're already set up. We're filming on a white backdrop. It's really, really small. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we zoomed out and we have Ike's today. Yes. So um, today I ordered a vegan Meatball sandwich from Ike's. If you guys didn't know, they have some vegan options. Check that out. All right, so we got a sandwich. Yummy, delicious, goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then Patrick over here, he got a Matt Cain. Show the people. And Ike's is um, a hot sandwich place. Right, is yours hot? Mine's hot, yes. And, and they're known part. for their... They're known for their Dutch crunch bread. Crunch Dutch bread. Dutch crunch bread. Dutch crunch bread. And also, if you guys don't remember, we got real food, daily vegan food. So I have the salad um, from yesterday. And yesterday we filmed with um, Madeline Petch from Riverdale. From Riverdale. And she's vegan. She is vegan. So here it is. I'm so excited to try this. Mine has turkey, salami, roast beef, Thousand Island. You guys want to know, this is what the bread looks like. This is what the bread looks like. It's so, so mm -hmm. crunchy, so good. The other day, um, we went to an Italian restaurant and I was just craving meatballs, so I couldn't have meatballs. Hmm. So they actually have a meatball sandwich. This is really good. Bread is soft on the inside and super crunchy. Mm-hmm. It's like all the flavors from the meats and the sauces that they put get soaked up in the bread and it's really good. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So if you guys wanted to know, this is what the backdrop looks like <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday we filmed um, a video with um, Madeleine Petch from Riverdale. That was pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> up until the point. Um, and you want I... to tell them what happened? <laughs> so like, yesterday, so I filmed all of Patrick's videos, right? If you guys didn't know, I filmed all of his videos. Um, yesterday, a mishap happened, and um, I basically effed up. I guess I was so mesmerized by Madeline Petch that um, in between takes, Patrick was changing the monitor, and then the cord slipped out from the... the um, Mm. The mic. No, that's what it was. Because it, it um it unplugged the actual cord to our mic. Oh, so now my fault. <laughs> yes, basically, because Patch is like, oh the monitor's not working. He lifted it up and then it fell and then I didn't realize that the cord was unplugged. And then um for the rest of the video there was no audio, which was very unfortunate. Well let me rewind. So Peter switched the lens, which caused the monitor to unplug, which caused me to move the monitor to unplug the audio. There's no audio, right? And at the end of my videos, I do the intro, like, hey guys, I'm here with so-and-so, outro here and so-so, and then she wiped off all her makeup and we had to do the next collab. And I was like, Peter, is the mic on? And we went to go look at the footage really quick and there was no audio for the Little Mermaid mm -hmm. tutorial. I said, let me do the intro and outro again with her Coachella look. So then we did the Coachella look and Peter didn't even press record. So we did it two takes, two intros, two outros, the audio is bad in the first one, and Peter didn't press record in the second one. So I said, you know what? Peter was just so angry. I was so angry. We're like, we filmed with this this um, beautiful actor, and what are we going to do? So I was like, let's put Peter in Madeline's get up as Little Mermaid, and he can just recreate her voiceover. So that's what we did. So stay tuned for the video. It ended up turning out being a little bit funny because Peter got dressed up as Little Mermaid. And that was that. And you know what? I think it's just a lesson, like, 
there's when there's nothing you can do about it, just make it fun. And you can't just like sit there and mope. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and be angry for like the next like 30 minutes. Let's just try something new. And so I was sitting in his Patrick Star and I had Peter put on a red wig and the bra and the breastplate and a necklace, did some eyeshadow, and that's what we did. Much better. We're focused. Sorry, it was a little bit blurry. I want to ask people on Peter's channel if they watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Because Faith Fair and I watch RuPaul's Drag Race. But we have an anti-supporter. Anti-supporter? My followers don't watch RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> y'all be talking for them. I want to know if y'all watch RuPaul's Drag Race and if Peter should watch it. Because it's so good. If you guys want me to watch it. I mean, I, I've watched one episode. And um, it was interesting. It's like America's Next Top Model. So, yeah. But I mean, it's not like something that I would like, I'm like obsessed with, I guess. I love it. Yeah, it's it's good, it's good. I'm not hating on it. So my makeup today is gonna be a little bit RuPaul-esque because I'm gonna put some big lashes on. And you're gonna meet um, Kim Kardashian today. Yes, tonight I'm gonna go to the KKW launch with Mario. I wanna say Kim is going. I don't see why she wouldn't go because it's her company with her mm -hmm. friend and makeup artist of 10 years, Mario. But I'm excited, so I'm gonna beat my face. And it's today. an intimate dinner. Intimate. I wonder who else is going. Mm. My True. eyes watering, I hate when that happens. Come on, eat up. I'm full. You were hungry like 30 I know, but ago. I ate that so fast. It's actually really good, guys. So if you're vegan, um, you guys can go to Ike Sandwiches and they have those vegan options. You guys want to know a funny story? So I wore this shirt when I was traveling and I like to just comfortable when I'm going to the airport. So I think I was wearing this with like a hoodie. Um, I remember I got buzzed in the metal detector because these are all like little Do you remember one of you wore it? Beads. I don't remember what trip it was, but it was just a little bit embarrassing. What did they do? They, they were um, like, oh, it's your sh I'm like, is it my shirt? And then I, this, this buzz. And then they were like, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Have you ever gotten patted down? No. Yes. At TSA? Like, yeah. Like, oh my not God. going through the scanner. Do you know what's funny? When, when I go through the scanner sometimes, and they're like, oh, um, you know how it's like random, blink, and then you have to go get patted down? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I laugh at the TSA security because there's always one girl and one guy to see which gender the recipient should go to. So they always like, if I'm looking more female, like with, sometimes I'll just have like an airport wig and I'll just throw on a, a wig. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if they see my nails, cause you know how you have to hold your hands up in the scanner, they'll see my nails or like my outfit. And I'm just dressed comfortable. I'm not dressed to like impress like more masculine or feminine. I'm just dressing just to be comfortable on my flight. But it's just funny how they're like... They choose a girl. <laughs> but they're like, look at each other and be like, do you take it or do I take it? Do you take it or do I take it? And then I, one of them will just give up and just they'll just pat yeah. me down. And we're going to Canada in two weeks. Pretty oh exciting. God, yeah, I'm Patrick watching. Spring um, collection, which is coming out on the 19th. Yeah. And that should be pretty exciting. So if you guys live in Toronto, we can mukbang it together. Yes, we're going to be in Toronto. Um, if you guys want to see how to get yes. tickets to the class or mm. my makeup yeah. tutorial and masterclass mm -hmm. with MAC, uh, you can follow the MAC Cosmetics Canada page. So that's the only way that they're giving tickets away. Yes. So if you guys want to follow them to find out more mm -hmm. info. <laughs> God. There's so much powder on my face. And if you guys don't believe that I really bake this long, I really do. <laughs> I'm really not going to eat this one. You're not? Mm -mm. I'm full. Mm. Do we have candy? Um, there's a candy in the back. No. Oh, yeah. When you get Ike's, guys, they always give you this, like, little... Lo Where's the caramel one? Is that blow They pop? give you, um... Bl oh, yeah, blow pops or this caramel one. Yeah. I'm trying this jasmine tea ice cream by Smitten. And, I don't know. It tastes like that, that Chinese tea, you know, when you go to those authentic Chinese places. It's like a brown tea, but you know how there's, like, tea leaves? Tea leaves. There's the tea leaves in here. That's kind of I don't weird. know if I like it. That's not vegan though, right? No, Halo Top is. So today, uh, instead of jasmine ice cream, <laughs> that jasmine ice cream was not good, guys. Not but, but but they do have other flavors. It's just okay, that, yeah. that, fl that specific flavor. But they also have vegan options there, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a vegan candy, vegan bar. 
This one is yeah, the too. Halo Top Chocolate Almond mm. Crunch, 280 calories per bite with coconut milk. Oh, I hate when ice cream is frozen. Do you feel like, um, cool? Let it cool? It's already cold. I mean, um, where I'm at. Is it good? Do you like it? Yeah. It's like thin. <laughs> It's what do you mean like, by thin? They need to know it's like, what, what's thin. No, it's like, it's like, um, it's light. Light. Mm -hmm. You know when you want ice cream, it's like... You want it to be thick and... No, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like creamy. Mm -hmm. This is just like no cream. It's just mm -hmm. like flavor. It's like, uh -huh. it's almost it's like ice. Uh -huh. Like almost like a popsicle than, um, ice mm -hmm. cream. Mm -hmm. It's just ice. Well, their, their ice cream is actually made with coconut milk. Yeah. So... I don't know if you're a big girl, you probably like understand what I'm what I'm trying to say. Didn't you say you were full like two seconds ago and then now you're eating? <laughs> no, I just wanted like something to like <clears throat> balance know. out the taste buds. Mm -hmm. Let's do tour de fridge. <laughs> you want a cutie? Oh, so yeah, also yesterday, um, since uh, Madeline was was vegan, baby and went out and got vegan uh, snacks for the shoot, and they didn't eat all of it, so. Luckily, we have um, fruit, we have some vegan cheese, we have apple, not apples, we have bananas, we have apple things, and there's Patrick with the, the cuties. I love cuties, by the way. They're so good. Yeah. It's easy to, like, just peel and just stuff in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> you love that, don't you? Oh. Wow. Well, this is what Fabian got from the store for the shoot. We got dark bark. Living raw and uh, darkest cacao truffles. I wonder how this is gonna be. Did you it's try them? Good. Are you I sure? Have them. Girl, I was the first one, the only one. <laughs> Baby, be offering them like the food, and he'd be like, "Oh, let me, let me just get a little bit." Pepper <laughs> <laughs> was so happy. We're just eating everything today. This is cute. Eating at the toilet today. <laughs> no, but you know when you eat something heavy, yeah. you just want to like cut the yeah. like the fat. Yeah, so yeah this is a little heavy. <laughs> I'm nervous because I actually I don't I don't like chocolate that much. Did you like it? Did you taste it? No. Oh, it's really good. It tastes I don't know. It's like, it's like All right. Let's try the bark. This is dark bark by the company Taza Chocolate. This is 80% dark chocolate <clears throat> and chocolate snacking things. Oh wow, it smells like dark, deep chocolate. Mm. We'll just have a piece because this is what it looks like. It's yummy. All right. That's vegan? Yeah, all of that's vegan. Mmm. I'm not vegan, guys. <laughs> it's a little too um chocolatey. Chocolatey. But if you guys like, like dark chocolate, you know, by all means, try these. Things. Let's try the darkest cacao truffles. <laughs> this one's by Living Raw. Live wise, eat raw. I'm eating raw. <laughs> mm. okay. What's this one? Coconut caramel truffles. Oh, we're just gonna. Basically, it comes in the truffle ball form. Mm. If you like chocolate, you like it. If you don't like chocolate, yeah. I'm just gonna try a little. It's like a little sweet and sour. Mm. <coughs> no, not my thing. <laughs> I like white chocolate the most, but <laughs> I don't. I don't even think they. Um, I've never seen vegan white chocolate. I never heard. It of probably it. is because you don't get chocolate. Period. Yeah, true. There we go. Alrighty, friends, that's it for today's mukbang. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this combination of a variety of foods. From Mike's, from the chocolate, to the orange cuties. Ice um, cream. <laughs> ice cream. But thank you again to Patrick for being on my mukbang today. Thank you for We're having gonna me. We're finish up filming your video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Patrick. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I shall see you guys very, very soon. Bye! Bye.